All right, what's going on, guys? This is the new hardware that I wanted to show you guys that I've been kind of haven't had much of a chance to lately. Um, HP Pavilion DV two nine one three CL Entertainment Notebook. I'll give you a quick rundown of the tech specs, and I'm going to try to keep this video short. This is just a quick overview. I haven't really had this that long. Um, I'll get into some pros and cons in a minute too. 14.1 inch screen at 1280 by 800. Um, you got a 1.3 megapixel webcam. It's got an AMD Athlon 64X2 at 2 gigs, which is a dual core processor. There's 4 gigs of DDR2 533 RAM, 120 gig 7200 RPM hard drive. Those are the basic specs. And the graphics chip is a 7150. NVIDIA mobile processor, so it's a integrated car that's better than dealing with the Intels at least. <sighs> Alright, that's a quick, <laughs> quick rundown of the specs. Let me get into the pros. The pros. Keyboard is nice to touch on. You know, touch type. Um, how many people find themselves hitting the mouse button when they don't mean to? Well, you have a lock button. Most computers in this price range I paid for this. I paid $250 for this, plus about 20 plus bucks in shipping, so it ended up being about $275. But you got a 1.3 megapixel webcam. Um, I love the way these Altec Lansing speakers are positioned because they're positioned at an angle to bounce off the screen and reflect back, so you, you don't get that hollow, tinny sound that you do with most laptop speakers, not all. Um, this, this particular unit has a built-in light scribe. There's also Firewire for those that are still holding on to that. Um, it's used a lot more than people think still. Um, but that's the quick rundown of what I like. Um, what I didn't like. Windows Vista was pre-installed on this. Guys, I tried to like it. I tried to give it a chance. But after four days, it was running like it had been running windows xp for you know three years and you haven't friggin updated it you know i had to shut off all these services it just didn't work i blew away the partition and i installed windows 7 because i'm just tired of dealing with the bs and there are certain functions in 7 that i found that i actually liked that i didn't realize i liked <laughs> um this will not be running any flavor of linux Mostly because it's an HTPC replacement for my Sony Vio, which is going to be going back to Linux. And the next distro on that one that I'm actually going to be reviewing is Ubuntu Mobile and Remix, I do believe it is. Um, it's based off 9.1, so I gotta we'll want to do a review on that because I like the clutter-based interface of Mego, but I hate the RPM base it has of you know, Red Hat. So, keep an eye out for that. But uh, some of the other things I don't like. Um, the power cord. To me, the power cord needs to be in the goddamn back. Uh, I mean, this unit has nothing in the back. I mean, I get why they did it, because there was a design choice on the curve of the speaker. This gets annoying as hell, because it's either this way or that way. Um, my experience with cords that are in the side is that they come out way too easily, the, the quality of the power supply in that kind of stuff is very questionable when they're on that side, you know, as opposed to the back, in my experience. Um, no dedicated volume key whatsoever. You just got the touch-sensitive quick media stuff. Um, the mouse pad is got the same glossiness as the rest of the body of the machine so not everything registers quite right when you're using the mouse another issue is that this has no latch as you can tell by this divot right here that houses where the webcam goes because most webcams are flush with most monitors nowadays as opposed to this so there's none of that um there's just too much clutter on the side i mean you got your power supply, you got dial-up, you have two USBs, you have your DVD drive, which while I like, 
has issues as far as once you have everything plugged in, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get it out. On the side, you have a nice array of options, though. Um, you do have, you know, S-Video, VGA, you have an expansion port, you got Firewire, 5-in-1, um, Ethernet. So, I mean, there are some nice things. You know, the front's got uh, two headphone jacks, so you can direct audio in two different directions. That I like. Um, some people like the fact that the toggle switch for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is on the front. I could care less. That doesn't matter to me if it's been on the front or back. But at the price I paid for this, which was 250 so 275 after everything, I would give this probably a 7 out of 10 for some of the design stuff, some of the issues, you know, Vista, um, the mouse pad being the biggest one to me anyway, and the probability of the side power supply being an issue. But on the same note, um, having a 1.3 megapixel webcam, decent speakers for a laptop, a nice keyboard, a wide array of video options and formats that, you know, can be supported, you know, 5-in-1, USB drives, whatever. So I would give this probably a 7 out of 10 at the price I paid for it. If I was paying what this was originally banked for, you know, six, seven hundred bucks, I don't know. That's kind of tough. I would probably say a five at best out of ten. But, you know, that's just me. So, you know, these are some of my quirks that I have. But, so, that's what you guys are going to be seeing. Um, you're going to be having an updated HTPC on the cheap update with a better system, and this will be hooked up to a 40-inch flat screen. So, rate it, subscribe it, y'all know what the fuck to do.